kwa majina I'm Agnes Wangari Kiruko I am born again I'm happy to be called a child of God a, ch a, a son in the kingdom of God I'm so happy that uh, God is doing a new thing day by day He's lifting me you know being lifted means uh, you have more hallelujah when God is lifting you, uh, he humbles you more. Hallelujah. Kuna pahali unapi. Unajua ufalume huu usio kama ufalume huo mwingine. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, when God is doing greater and mightier, mightier things in your lives, uh, there is a process. And let the weak say they are. Unajua tumeshinda kazini. I'm, I'm welcoming you. But I want to declare, let the weak say, I am strong. Hallelujah. We are strong in the Lord. We are happy in the Lord. We are blessed in the Lord. We are children of the kingdom of God. We are the heirs of God. Hallelujah. Today, I want us to come back to this word that especially when the economy has gone up. Maybe you, you, your business is not going the way you desire. All things are not going the way you think they are supposed to be. Sometimes you have trusted upon your salary and it is becoming very hard for that salary to meet your needs. You are also trusting friends and maybe all, all your career and many other things. But as I was remembering this word, because I'm saying many at times, we trust on what we think, what we know, what we are able to do, and all, all that. But there was a time I, 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 I was going through things that you feel that things are not working the way you want. And I read the, the word that says uh, in the book of Psalms 121, from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, not now, but another, uh, uh, another time. And that time is when you want your salary or the money you have to go throughout the end month. And sometimes it's not working. It's not working. By the time you are 15, maybe things are not going exactly the way you want. But I was in that cocoon that of thinking that things must work from that perspective. But when I read that, that word, and I was wondering, I think I was almost adding the mother and things were not working. But I read that word. And I said, you know, many times you think if things are not working, go to Emswari. Go to or do something else. You know it's a reality. To, for, so that you can finish the month. So uh, when I read that word, my heart came back to myself. And I said, I want to trust in the Lord. I'll look upon God from where does my help come from. And I don't know what God did that time because the month ended and I was able to go through it. The things I thought maybe I will go to him, sorry, or what shall I do? But imagine when I read that word and I trusted on that word, the man was able to add without us. And God delivered me from something. That you are in a cocoon where you want things to, to, to work the way you want them to work. But today I want to encourage ourselves that our economy, uh, God's economy, is not a Kenyan's economy. Hallelujah. God's blessings, they cannot be contained in your business. God does not work according to the things that you have. Hallelujah. God is more powerful. God has more powerful and many ways to do things. But how are we going to get, get it from God? The Bible, uh, the Bible says, trust in the Lord and lean not in your own understanding. Because our understanding is what is driving us away or swaying us away from the ways of God, from the receiving 
that which God has for us. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, not some. Hallelujah. In all your ways, even that one you are feeling that I'm supposed to bring up my children in this way. And you are putting all your efforts and all your strength to bring up your children. All your ways, in everything, acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Let us acknowledge God in whatever he will do. And he will direct our paths. Verse 6, the Bible says, uh, verse 6 of Proverbs, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Hallelujah. So when we acknowledge him, when we, uh, you know, uh, uh, somebody said, I hope there, there, were, there were somewhere, they said, I hope God is on our side. And the other one said, I don't hope that God is on, our, is on our side. I like that statement. But I hope we are in God's side or on God's side. Hallelujah. Because we might want God to be on our side according to our understandings, according to our thinking, according to the way we want him. Aikie kwa mipango ye? Yetu. Mungu akue kwa upande wetu. But is God, are we on God's side? Are we in God's side? Hallelujah. Do, are we allowing God to do according to his power, according to his will, according to his promises? Hallelujah. But he will only do when we acknowledge him. When we, or we surrender all our ways. We trust him for the big things and the small things. And I can remind you something, although I want to go to the book. There, there, there is this time that Joshua wanted to go to, 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 to fight the, a city which was very small called Ai. And when he had gone to fight that city, they said, this is a very small city. We can just go and fight them. But when they went, they were defeated. Because they did not acknowledge God so that God could reveal them. There was a problem before you go. Deal with the problem first. Even if the city is a, is a small city, there is a problem that has occurred that can make you to be defeated. But because they felt according to their understanding, according to their strength, we are able now to, to defeat this one without even as an effort, without, without even thinking. So today, what I'm saying is that let us acknowledge God in small things, in big things. As we have read in the book of um, uh, uh, Daniel, we have read about these two, uh, three guys. We know the story. But one thing I would like us to know about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they did not know God that day. They did not practice trusting God that day. There were people who had trusted God, especially it's good uh, for us to understand that they had come out of Jerusalem and they were in captivity. In captivity, they had trusted upon God. They had walked with God. And when now they were in a problem, they had they declared because one thing we must learn is that we must know our God. We must understand God's ways. We must have a close relationship with God so that even when we are trusting upon him, or upon him we know that our God is a faithful God. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a powerful God. And nothing is impossible with God. And when we know that, hallelujah, hallelujah, when we know that our God is a powerful God, we are able to trust upon him. Because sometimes we see, what does it profit to trust upon God? What is God able to do? You know, sometimes God can keep quiet. Like in this case, they, you know, it's only that they had confidence. 
They said we cannot worship the idol. And the reason why I liked this uh, scripture is because to Kawakati were erections. And I'm telling you, people, even the church might worship idols, might worship people, might worship many things. When they are siding, they, they, they are taking sides. I'm not saying that you should not be on your side. Everybody should have his or her own side. Hallelujah. Because we are, hallelujah. But what I'm saying, what is the church? What is the responsibility of the church? Are we going also to speak the, the way they are speaking? Hallelujah. Are we supposed now to worship what they are worshiping? Hallelujah. So that we can stand still without worshiping. It may not be an image like that one of Nebuchadnezzar. But there are many things that can be raised and lifted that can be like those images and those idols. We can worship a time like this. But I would like to encourage ourselves that we should know our God. We should know our side. We should know whom we are. So that as we stand, especially this time of elections and siasa, hallelujah, we must know what is my possession. We should not be, but, uh, we should not be uh, contaminated. Let me say contaminated. So, so that by the end of it, brethren, you know, I could see a spirit of not compromising in these three men. In Babylon, a foreign, a foreign land, in captivity. But they say, it does not matter. But we want to know, you know, they, 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 they called him, O Nebuchadnezzar, who was a king. Why did they say that? Because they knew their God was greater and more powerful than Nebuchadnezzar the king. They had the king of kings and the lord of lords. So today I would like to call the church that we may know our God and we may stand still when people are saying, I don't know whether you have gone to do a, 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 a budget of late and you find things they are very high. I don't know what you are talking about when you find that. But I would like us to know that as a church, as a people, hallelujah. Mifuko yetu. Mifuko yetu. Hallelujah. Let our pockets be connected. Na mifuko ya mungu. Hallelujah. Let our trust be in God because you make our paths straight. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, in the book of Jeremiah 17, cast is the man who trusts in another man. He is like a shrub in the desert. But blessed, okay, uh, it's okay. Jeremiah 17, <clears throat> but uh, from verse five, uh, blessed, uh, pre, uh, blessed is the man. Okay. Cast is the man who trusts in a man who depends on flesh for his strength and whose heart turns from the Lord. Uh -huh. He will be like a, a bush in the wastelands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will dwell in the parched places of the desert in a salt land where no one lives. Verse uh -huh. 7. So, uh -huh. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sheds out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when it comes. It leaves, uh, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in year of drought. It never fails to bear fruit. Hallelujah. Ble uh, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So I want to, to encourage each one of us, even if things are looking very hard and very difficult, like this one of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, failing to bow before the idol, it was costing them to be thrown into the furnace of fire. But they said, our God is well able to save us. That is the declaration that we are supposed to say even today, that our God is well able. At such a time as this, our God is able to deliver us. Hallelujah. Our God is able to change the situation. My God is able to make me thrive in business, even during such a hard, hard time. Oh, hallelujah. That man who trusts in the Lord and who puts confidence in the Lord, he is like a, 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 a tree plant, uh, planted by the riverside. Hallelujah. When everybody is complaining, when everybody is saying many things, you, when you have trusted upon God, when we continue to trust, uh, to trust upon God, we, we are going to continue being green. We will continue to prosper. We will continue to be blessed. But cast it the man that puts his hope, uh, his trust in men, to, uh, puts his trust in economy, puts his trust in the kings. Hallelujah. We should trust in the Lord. You know, I was, uh, I, I've been thinking that uh, especially this is a good time because it's when people think when those people are saying bottom up many things they are said hallelujah how can they help us who has the solution the church has the solution the church has the king of kings the lord of lords because we represent a kingdom that is a powerful kingdom a kingdom that is able to change the economy of kenya the, the, the kingdom that, that is able to represent Kenya, that there shall be no violence in Kenya before and after elections. A kingdom. Hallelujah. We, we are not, we, not that we go to state house, but when we are here in Kenyatta Road Deliverance Church, when we bow down and we call upon God, we are able to declare peace in Kenya. Peace in every corner of Kenya. Which kingdom is more powerful than that? Peace. I hear the, the, the nini. The policeman cannot control it. But one believer can control it in the name of Jesus. Through prayer. Through intercessory. Because we believe in a kingdom which is powerful. Hallelujah. Why should we trust then? On the other things, let us remove our minds and our hearts from trusting on the environments, on the things that are surrounding us, on men and women, our businesses, our jobs, our salaries. But let us raise the, uh, the standard. Let us trust upon the Lord. And, and uh, finally, the Bible says in Psalms 125, verse 1 and 2, those who trust, Psalms 125, those who trust upon the Lord, they are like, like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. Verse 2. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. Hallelujah. So we should be happy. We should celebrate that we are the children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. We should be happy. We should stand stronger that we are children of God. We, are, we trust upon him who is mighty and powerful, the creator of the heavens and the earth. He never fails. He is never defeated. He never grows weary. He never slumbers. Oh, hallelujah. He loves us with an everlasting love. 
Let us trust upon him. Let us wait upon him. Let us believe in him. Let us have faith in him. And you continue to see the goodness of the Lord. And as we trust upon the Lord, we are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. Hallelujah. We cannot be moved because we trust and we believe in the living God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we worship you. We thank you because you are great and you are good God. Our hope and our trust is in you. We believe in you who is mighty. And God, we have seen your faithfulness and your goodness upon our lives, O oh dear Lord. And today, my Father, many a times we have failed to trust upon you. But God, I pray from today that we will trust upon you with all our hearts, Lord. And our Father will not lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways we will acknowledge you because you are loving and you are caring, God. We thank you, we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we believe. Amen.